All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who drew well and taught us this truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. And salutation to the Akim out there pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their life for Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai's sake. We're the brothers from GMS Miami. I'm Brother Samak. I'm your brother Zakaria. Yeah, and today we're going to go into, you know, um, why, hey, you know, um, we're coming into some perilous times, mm -hmm. all right, some evil times, and your mind needs to be on these scriptures, That's right. all right? Your mind needs to uh, be, all right, meditating on the words of the Lord, all right? Because you, you need to understand that the words of the Lord are being fulfilled, yep. all right? You got to be occupied in prophecy. All right, you got to have the, the the true understanding of these scriptures. All right, because perilous times is coming, evil times is coming. Yep. All right, and um, you know we're gonna go into how this new well, the, it's not even new. All right, I was looking into it. it's an updated uh, um, Department of Defense okay decree for so to say of um, the military uh, being used to support law enforcement. Okay, it's an update, and this is all done on the on the uh, Biden administration. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, I found an article, Newsmax. They break it down, you know, in a simple format, so you get an understanding of what this okay uh, uh, lethal force, as in this uh, decree, is all about. All right, and that's why wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. We're going to go into that uh, first verse. This book of Isaiah, chapter thirty-three, in verse six, it says. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, mm -hmm. and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. So the the wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, knowing about okay, what's to come, is gonna keep you stable in these times. That's right. All right. And of course, all right, what's the root of it? You you fear the Lord more than you fear man. Yep. You know? And so you should know that this devil's coming down with great wrath. Because he knows he has a short time. He has all the laws on the books to come after us. The, you know, all right, the Lord's chosen people, all right, the Israelites, which are your yep. so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, okay? Best believe he's going to come after us, the prophets. Yep. You should prepare your mind for that. But guess what, all right? If you've been doing the will of the Lord, hey, you shouldn't fear, man, right. all right? Because the Lord's always going to protect his elect, all right? Um, I had a priest. Uh, well, I, I want to bring out that word of uh, stability. stability. Yeah, God, that was yeah. Because I wanted to bring that <laughs> uh, up too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a uh, uh, H fifty three uh, five thirty is Amuan, mm -hmm. which goes to firmness, fidelity, steadfastness. All right, so ultimately it goes to the word faith, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so this faith is going to keep us. This wisdom and knowledge is going to keep our faith strong, man. Having our faith in Yahweh by Shema Shah, because that's the true power. That's who's bringing this judgment. All right, that's who's that's who's gonna call Esau to make these laws to come down on our, on our people, man. Right. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. And you know we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. You know even though our people are scattered amongst the nations, all right, and they may look like other nations, but they lineage go back to the twelve tribes according to their fathers. All right. But the Lord is bringing His wrath upon our people, and He gonna use Esau, which is His sword, to do it. Right. You got it, brother. Con. So um, now let's go to Revelation twelve and twelve. Con. Because a, this is a milk scripture. All right. But it's a powerful milk scripture, mm -hmm. all right? And this needs to come out more and more, yep. all right? So, and that's the thing, brothers, all right? This, if you need a, a, a topic to talk about, Revelation 12 and 12, right. all right? That's a great topic, all right? Just because brothers have done uh, this topic over and over again doesn't mean that, okay, you don't have to do it either. You should do it, right. okay? All right, so... Like Elder, uh... Oscar Bar said, uh, repetition is a father's skills. Exactly. That's what the most high, Yahweh Shema Shai, always, that's why the laws continue because right. our people are hard headed. Stupid right. Headed, well, you know? The reading, real quickly, right. the, the readings of, of the week right. in Deuteronomy, all, hey, uh, after like the, the seventh or to tenth chapter, it's the Lord is saying the same, same thing, thing over and over yep. again because we are hard headed, man. Yeah. All right. We are hard-headed. That's why it needs to be repeated over and over and over again. Right. All right? Just like this devil, Esau, Edom, repeats the same shit over yeah. and over again on the news media. Yeah. Okay? That's why we got to go back to the source, man, and get into these scriptures and go over and over these scriptures over and over and over again. Yep. 
All right, Revelation 12 and 12. Yep. This mm -hmm. book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 12 says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right. All right, because, hey, this devil has been, all right, uh, seeing, first and foremost, us, the prophets, tell, you know, waking up to who we are, right. all right? And then, of course, seeing the chariots in the sky. Yeah. So this devil's like, oh, shoot, man, yeah. all right? They're waking up, all right? Uh, uh, their power, okay, is is uh, moving with these uh, so-called UFOs yeah. over our military bases, right. all right? So we, we got to move fast with our NWO, <laughs> yeah. you know? And so now you got laws, all right, being uh, updated and, and, and being pushed to the forefront because they've always had these laws, all right, to come against, okay, the people, yep. all right? Mainly, okay, uh, 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 you jakes, yeah. all right, Rex 84, King Alpha Plan, Project Megiddo, Operation yep. Garden Plot, those laws are still in the books and they're, and they're catered towards our people to, all right, because they want to genocide us. Now, let's go into this DOD directive, all right? I, uh, I'm going to put the Newsmax link in the description box, all right? This is a representative, all right, from Maryland, um, a Congress, I believe she's a Congresswoman, if I'm not mistaken. No, Congressman, excuse me, Andy Harris, okay. for a Republican from uh, Maryland. He uh, calls up uh, the Newsmax, uh, you know, TV program, uh, and basically uh, is concerned about this DOD directive. Mm -hmm. He calls it totally on call for it. So I'm going to read it. It says, a new federal directive authorized last month that could potentially legalize military action against citizens on U.S. soil is worrisome. All right. Now, what's so interesting is that they've been had these logs on the books. Insurrection Act, that goes all the way back to um, Thomas Jefferson. Right. All right. They're just updating it. Okay. They're just making it, uh, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, more, they're expanding it so that if any anything they deem as a national security threat, they can send out the military automatically. Right. Okay, which they've done before. They always sent out the national guard, especially when you Jakes get wild. Yep. All right. So it goes on and says the Biden Harris administration updated. Notice it says updated the DOD directive because this directive has always been there. They just updated it. That's all. And and Esau has been doing that. He always adds to laws that have already been written. Yep. Okay. Uh, the Biden-Harris administration updated DOD Directive 5240.01 on September 27th to include provisions authorizing lethal force in certain circumstances when assisting civilian law enforcement. All right, so basically, uh, if the cops call in, hey, we need the military, all right, now the military, all right, is authorized to use lethal force, mm -hmm. okay, for certain circumstances, which, what are those circumstances? They never... Uh, uh, revealed that, right? But we already know. Yep. We already know what that's all about. It's gonna be on site. <laughs> on site. Okay. <laughs> Niggas. Especially, especially when you go against those JJs. Yeah. All right. Remember what Donald Trump said? We gotta remove. All right. Those that uh, okay that hate the JJs. All right. All right. And I'll put that article in there too. Mm -hmm. All right. So hey, the the military will be used. Okay, and that's why I keep thinking Donald Trump's coming in. They got everything set up so that um, uh, when Trump comes in or when Trump wins, they'll start able to use it. Yeah. Okay? Because even Trump said, hold on, uh, let me get this article, uh, how Trump could use the military to go after radical left. Yeah. The military is supposed to police Americans, but they are exception. exception. This is from ABC News. That was two days ago. That was two days ago. Okay. Says former President Donald Trump says active duty or National Guard troops could be used to go after radical left lunatics to handle any election day chaos. All right? All right. So Trump is calling for that. All right? Warning that the bigger problem facing the United States isn't a foreign enemy, the, but the people from within. Yeah. Do, do you see how this, this individual, this Nero, yeah. all right, is being open? I'll use the military on, on, on my own citizens. Yep. If they act froggy, get uh, Isaiah 19 and 4. A, cru a, a cruel Lord, a, a cruel, okay? All right, a, a, a king that's cruel. Yep. Isaiah 19 and 4. Yep. That's why, again, <clears throat> wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of times, man. You got to have faith in Yahweh Bashem that he'll protect you when he, when these 
things come. That's right. All right? You got it. Can I get uh, verse 2 real quick? Then yeah. I'll jump down. Mm-hmm. Isaiah 19 and verse 2, it says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, mm-hmm. and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Mm-hmm. So that's a civil war. All right, which going to lead to this. Verse 4 it says, And the Egyptians will like, because America is spiritually uh, uh, Sodom and Egypt. All right, mm-hmm. Egypt represented bondage, man. All right, and we're here. We're here uh, in in spiritual Egypt. So the Lord said He's gonna set these Edomites against themselves, man. Yep. All right, verse four it says, "In the Egyptians will I give, will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord, mm-hmm. and a fierce king shall rule over them," saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. There you go, a cruel Lord. Okay. So this is all set up by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, yep. so that prophecy can be fulfilled. Again, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Yep. All right. All right. This ain't a time to be uh, having doubt. This ain't a time to be fearful. You're supposed to be excited, man. Because right. this is leading to our salvation. This has to happen. These prophecies have to happen. So we get up out of here. That's right. All right. You, you, hey, the scriptures say, through much tribulation shall you enter the kingdom of heaven, man. Much tribulation. X. You know? You get that. So, you know, you pseudo Hebrew Israelites out there with this whole. You know, try you know making uh, this truth a sport or <laughs> you know some type of freaking um, something to do. Right. You don't know what you got yourself involved in, man. Yeah. Uh, the apostles always say say, especially Apostle Gabar. Yeah. You know, Jake don't know what they got what they got themselves into, man. You don't know what you're a part of, man. Right. This ain't hey. You should know you're an Israelite, but it's more to it, man. All right. These people hate us, man. Yeah. They lied to us. They've been oppressing us since we got over here. Yeah. To this very day. And they have laws on the books. They have agendas to wipe us out. Yep. All right? Because it's in their spirit too. All right? And these prophecies have to come to pass. Or else it makes the Lord a liar. Right. You got it. This book of uh, Acts chapter 14 and verse 22. It says, Confirming the souls of the disciples mm-hmm. and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must do much tribulation to enter into the kingdom of the Most High, man. Mm-hmm. Do much tribulation we're going to enter in, man. We got to be... Uh, the scriptures talk about the men of the Lord being persecuted. Mm-hmm. All right, going before governors and mayors and things like oh, that. We got to bring that up. Jacob's trouble. Mm-hmm. All right, they gonna be accused. They already accusing us, you weirdos. Yep. All right, and then you got um, you saw that video with Sakar, uh, ISUPK when they had an Edomite come to them. Yeah, it's that I posted that video yeah. for in a, in the brothers group chat because yeah. I was like, yo, you see this? But Do you see now, what's going man, on now? They, they now they got. They can create a, a, a narrative about us, yeah. That we militant, you know, we we hate group much. We we do hate you people, yeah. But they, but we ain't in no militant vibration, right? Man. We we hate you, yeah. All right, okay. In the spirit, man, right. and we're gonna t- we're gonna call you out. Why we hate you? Right. Cause look at the wickedness you're doing, man. All right, the word hate is a strong word right. for dislike. dislike. We dislike the things that you're doing. We dislike the lies that you're saying about us. All right, the lies about the Bible. All right, we dislike this kingdom. It's ruled in wickedness, man. All right, LGBTQT personnel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 everything's about materialism. Yeah. A consumer. I hate that fucking word, man. Yeah. When you look up that word consumer, it's like that, and we are. They set it up that we have to be consumers, man. Yeah. All right. So we hate everything about this place. And, and again, this is a godless society. Yeah. There's no reverence of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. There's no reverence of the creator of heaven and earth. We just went into Genesis chapter 1. Right. All right? Yesterday, man. What a powerful, powerful chapter. Yeah. This shows you the creator of Yahweh, okay, of, of the Lord and, 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 and what he did, yeah. all right, for, for us. Yeah. And that's not reverenced. Yeah. That's not reverenced at all, man. So that's why we dislike and hate y'all, man. You talk about Big Bang Theory and evolution, man. Bugged out. All right? And again, we go according to what the scriptures say. All right? And we got to bring out, all right, like the apostles say, the nastiness of the scriptures. Yeah. And I know y'all, y'all pseudo-Hebrew, pseudo-Hebrew Israelites hate us for that yeah. when we talk about rape is in the Bible. Yeah. When we talk about, okay, uh, uh, you could get a, a, a woman at a young age. Right. We're not saying we're doing that. We're saying that's what the Bible says. Yeah, that's the law. That if was it the happen, law. If it happens. If it happens. Because you niggas been in America too long being around this dead right. white, white so-called Edomite in the, the black woman. What does the word virgin mean? Young woman. Right. Okay, Mary was a young woman. She had to be the age 13, 13, 12, 13, 13 man. Yeah. All right, which here in America, when America was first founded, that's the women were getting married 
uh, at a young age. Right. When, oh, she got a menstrual cycle. That means she's able to, to have a baby. We got to marry her off. Right. How hard is that? But no, you're making shit up. Like, we're, we're going to brothel houses and getting a uh, 10-year-old. Like, you just create yeah, uh, what, the uh, well, former, I don't know if they're still calling themselves Sakari or the offshoots. These individuals. You're talking about uh, Hassan? Hassan, they yeah. They call themselves Genesis. Now they're Genesis. Now they're, you know, all right? Now they're, yeah. no, they just keep changing, all right? Yeah. You know? Like the moon. Like the moon, man. <laughs> like, they're women. They're emotional. Yeah. Emotional damage. Yeah. That's an inside joke. Yeah. But, um, you know, at, at the end of the day, okay, we're, we're here to defend the gospel. Yes. And uh, we're here to teach the truth, whether you like it or not. And we don't like those that teach lies and teach against the scriptures and make shit up, all right, and and twist the scriptures around. That's why we can't wait till the Lord set, make sure that Esau comes, all right, and gets y'all, man. Yep. We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to Esau with the military troops beating the shit out of you pseudo Hebrew Israelites because you've been telling lies, man. Yeah. That lot, you did. These troops are for you, wicked jakes. Yeah. Let's be real honest. Yeah. All right. The Lord controls both sides. The Lord is in control. Now, of course, we're here to warn our people through the terror of the Lord do we persuade men. We tell our people, hey, yo, you better get right. Yeah. Hey, they about to bring in the military. They got laws on the books. Now they're... Do th you know what this was? This is Esau boasting. Get uh, uh, real quick. Psalms chapter uh, 10 around yeah, the fourth yeah. verse. Uh, yeah. This is Esau boasting. Real talk. This is him boasting. All right? Just like he was boasting about... Now they put it on mainstream media that the military and the government knows how to manipulate the weather. Yeah. They've been knew how to do that. But why are they put it on the news? Because it's them boasting about it. Yep. Now they're projecting. They're like, they puffing up at y'all. What are you all going to do? Nothing. Do something. Yeah. We'll break you. That's exactly what this is all about. You got it, brother. It's uh, Psalm chapter 10. I'll start at verse 3. It says, For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesses the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high. The most high is not in all is not in all his thoughts. Exactly. All right? And it was set up that way. All right? The Lord set this man up, the, the Edomites, all right, to be contrary to the scriptures. Yep. To be unclean. All right? Yep. To not have, all right, not once little ounce of of faith, all right, in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yeah. That's why they, they're getting guns, they're doing training. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And you wicked ass Jakes are following along yeah. with that bullshit. We're going to tap into Esau's spirit. Blessing. Yeah. Blessing. <laughs> Look at this great. Meanwhile, meanwhile I, uh, uh, Esau got drones that he'll use again. Yeah. Okay? Because I, I um, what's it called? Uh, Christopher uh, uh, Dover. Remember that site? The, the, the Jake cop that yeah, went. LA and say like Cop, maniac cop. Yeah. yeah. All right. I was reading that. Esau was using drones on him. Yeah. When he went up to the mountain. When he went up like to the mountain. Not only were they using uh, uh, the uh, what they call uh, dragon's breath, which basically it's these bullets that light up your, your whole, the, the whole fucking, uh, all right, the, the sector, wherever it hits, into a fireball. Yeah. All right. They were also using drones on him. So you Jake's over here talking about we're going to tap into Esau blessing. We're going to be paramilitary, man. you being set up to be, okay, cleaned out, man. Yep. You're going to be put down. Yeah, the Lord's going to wipe you niggas out. And that's why Esau's now puffing up. And he's showing you. Now he's like, yeah, I got laws on the books to yeah. take you out. Do something. Yep. All right, I'll send the military on in your communities. I'll roll tanks through your fucking hood. All right? You want to blood and crip? You better blood and crip on each other. Yeah. Fuck around and find out. That's what Esau's doing. Yep. All right? Oh, you, you Northern Kingdom with your Latin gangs, right? The 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 Latin kings and and the fucking um the other gangs, yeah. All right. Ms. Thirteen. Ms. Thirteen. All right. Gang bang on each other, but fuck around and 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 my in my in my town and, and fuck around and touch one of my people. Yeah. I'm sending the military on your ass. Yep. All right. That's why. Why you think Trump is so against the fuck the whole thing with the border and shit? Yeah. That's why again, I'm just doing. It doesn't matter. They can put fucking Barney. But everything's being geared up, though, I believe, to Trump to to un unleash hell in America. Yep. Okay? okay I got a, a couple precepts. Come on, that. bring it well, out. It yeah. says um, Daniel chapter 8 and verse 25, which is talking about uh, uh, Antiochus, but you can equate it to this psalm. It says, through his policy, also he shall cause 
Kraft to prosper in his hands through their paperwork, their policies. He gonna call Kraft to to prosper, man. Mm -hmm. These paperwork, man. These laws, and and shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. So they're gonna use these laws like it's bringing peace, it's bringing stability, all right, to America. But ultimately, they're using these laws to come against you, Jakes, man. Yep. It says through his policy, also he shall call Kraft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace. Shall destroy many. Mm -hmm. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but shall be broken without hand. Which is going into Antioch. But Esau, he's gonna call craft to prosper through his policies, man. That's why. That's why they to justify anything. They always put it in put it in paperwork, put it in ink, and they make a law. So they, they, this is the law, so they can uh, uh, execute it. You got it, brother. Con. Uh, just get to the point. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, For when they shall say, Peace is safety, then sudden destruction yep. come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right. Yep. All right. All this is for your peace. This is for safety. This is for stability. Nah, this is straight up to bring, all right, wrath, destruction, calamity. All right. That's why it says in, um, uh, what is it? 2 Thessalonians, the, is it? Uh, second chapter. The second where it says, um, Perilous time shall come. Uh, uh, Timothy. Timothy, uh, second, yeah. It's Timothy. That's yeah, what it is. Uh, con. This is Second Timothy chapter. Oh, Timothy. Let me opt here. Yeah, I got it. Second Timothy oh. chapter three, verse one. This know also that in the last days perilous time shall come. Yep. And you go into that word perilous, it means a severe, hard, savage, hard to bear. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why, again, what we brought up from the first uh, verse, the first scripture. All right, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Right. You shall understand the time that you're living in. Yep. All right, just because you know you're an Israelite doesn't mean you're going to be saved. Yeah. All right, and everything's being geared up because hey, they gotta they gotta depopulate a lot of people because to usher in that new world order. Yep. And they want their new world order. They want people chipped up. That's another thing, man. Yeah. All right, they got everything set up for that RFID chip. That means they gotta cleanse the sheep. They gotta get rid of a lot of people. Yep. All right. So they can control the rest and, and put fear in them. You better take this yeah. uh, uh, chip yeah. or you're going to go down like your neighbor, man. Yeah. Okay? And this is what we're t why the Lord set up the prophets. Why the Lord, all right, puts a heavy spirit on the prophets. And it seems like we're only us here at Great Millstone yeah. to go into these topics, the pro right. prophetic scriptures, over and over and over and over again. Yeah. All right? Because it's the truth, man. Yeah. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. This book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 4, it says, These are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Talking about you tribes, man. Mm -hmm. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace. So what? It's going to be a time. It's not a time of peace. Like you said, when they say peace is safe, then it's sudden destruction, man. Yep. All right. Our people think it's what? what? NBA season about to start. NFL, they, they just are partying bullshit, man. Uh, bread and circus, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but hey, it's gonna be a time of trouble, man. It says, At last, it's like verse 6, it says, Jeremiah 30 and verse 6 it says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? So a man gonna be like a woman having uh, giving, giving birth, screaming, man. All right, verse seven, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, man. So it's the time of Jacob's trouble as apostles to our, you no, know, through the spirit power, how about my shot, named this year, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And you see, it's already viewing up. It's mm -hmm. viewing up, man. You know, it's the beginning of sorrows, as the scripture said. That's you right, that's right. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. All right. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. Yep. This is talking about America, Babylon the Great. Okay. And he had two horns like a lamb. Right. You see this election thing. Vote for me. I'm going to make your life better. Vote for me. I'm going to make your life better. Yeah. yeah. Behind the scenes, they pass. They're updating laws and and and, and saying, yeah, we're going we're gonna to bring in the military. Yeah. Fuck around and find out. Which goes right to the next, the next part of this verse. Uh, coming up out of the earth. And he had uh, two horns like a lamb, right? And he spake as a dragon. Yep. And that's, you're seeing the these draconian measures being openly revealed. Openly revealed to the public. Yeah, we got draconian measures. Yep. Fuck around and find out. Yep. And hey, and it's coming, man. All right? That's why Yahweh said, uh, the fire's already kindled. Yeah, what if we, if 
I get it. Yeah, it was at uh, like Luke. Luke, right? The fire's already kindled. Yeah, before he returns. I got it. Yeah, Luke twelve. Ka. This book of Luke chapter twelve and verse forty nine says, "I am come to send fire on the earth, mm -hmm. and what will I if it be already kindled?" There you go. Yep. So when the Messiah returns, there's gonna be ready a lot of chaos. Yeah. All right. In, in, in different areas throughout the world, especially here in America, yep. particular cities and, and total destitute, burning, chaos, all right? While you have other cities, you know, uh, business as usual, swiping their hand to the, to the day with the, with the RFID chip, the microchip, buying shit, acting like shit is sweet, pointing and laughing at the other city because they're catching hell and they're yeah. all destitute, yep. all right? And Yahweh Shai is coming in the midst of, of, of all of that. Right. All right? Because prophecy has to be played out. You're going to have cities that are in destitute. All right? Which I, I feel Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, yeah. Detroit, those are the main ones that go down. Right. Chicago. I still don't understand how Chicago is still functioning. <laughs> Chicago is in so much debt, and it's a fucking, it's a madhouse. It's psychopaths that live there. You know? And Shalom to the brothers out oh, in Chicago. You know, Lord got a heavy spirit on, the, on those oh. beautiful brothers out there. Because yeah. that is a... Harsh city, man. <laughs> yeah. You know? But then you're going to have cities, I personally believe, you know, just speaking as a man, Miami functioning with the chip. Yeah, tech cities. The tech cities. Okay? That's why you have Mayor uh, Francis Suarez went to the the, uh, the World Economic Forum in, in Davos. Fuck is a, what is a mayor from Miami doing all the way over there? Right. All right? But that's why you got to be on your watch. That's why you got to be, okay, focused on prophecy, occupied in prophecy, so you don't understand what time we're living in, so that when it, when the time, when it comes, your mind's already set. Yeah, we've been saying this. Let's you go. Know. All right, Yahweh Bashim al has got my back. Yep. All right, we know where this is leading to. Yep. You know? He said, you get in off of this, you have nothing. Um, he has one more. One more, just to prove that uh, America pushes out the Roman ways, man. Right. Cause this is Rome all over again with with uh, with technology that's right. fucking bullshit. You need to fix your technology, Esau. Hurry up, um, cause this shit you'd be the network be going down. Yeah, you know you'd be having debt uh, uh dead spots. Yeah, and uh, the phone's not working. SOS, SOS, oh, yeah. SOS on the phone. To me, yes. Yeah, like what the no, fuck? No, this morning. Yeah, like hurry up, man. Get this shit reset. Do the great reset. Klaus Schwab, the great reset, and get your shit. Up and running, so you can push this chip, so so that the Lord can really, all right, break your whole kingdom apart. All right, all right, because it, hey, that's when Yahweh Shai comes with the angels. Yeah, that's why they the, the UFO. That notice, uh, uh, they constantly putting on articles about the, the so-called UFOs, yeah. the chariots. All right, because they know, man, the war in heaven is coming. Yeah. Uh, Revelation chapter uh, thirteen, verse twelve. Now we're going on twelve, and he exercises all the power of the first beast. Before I'm right, Rome. Um, Rome, America, Babylon the Great is exercising, all right, his power, okay, as as uh, the ancient Romans, okay, and that's how you know this is Rome all over again. Right. America pushes that vibration out. Even Donald Trump said that yeah. we get our culture and influence from ancient Rome. He said that while he was in Italy when he was president the first time. Right. All right. Then they had like a cover of Time magazine or something like that. Um. Or as a pope or something. The pope, like that. Yeah. yeah, said ancient Rome. You're right. You know, right. Uh, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and he caused the earth and them uh, which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. Yep. Right. And that's why everybody is worshiping the image of the beast. They follow the ways of Rome. They want to be like the Romans, yep. and that's why America was set up. All right, to push that Roman influence throughout the world. Yep. Okay. It, it is, and that's how you know. You know, you Edomites, you so-called white people, you were the Romans, all right? You act like the Romans, yeah. okay? And you're going to be judged like the Romans, yep. all right? You're going down just like the Romans. But this time, you ain't coming back. Yeah. You ain't rebuilding. That's it. Okay? Yeah, that, that statue is going to be broken, man. Exactly. Cut, I got to... Uh, this is... um. Whatever, yeah, you, whatever script you got, then we'll okay. close out. Mm -hmm. This is... um. Yeah, I get it. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 5. It says, whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing in a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. So a wise man, he's going to discern both uh, time, what time we live in and the judgments that's coming. That's all this wisdom now is going to keep us stable, man. Mm -hmm. Strip say the, the prudent man foreseeth the even hide himself, but the wicked pass on and, and is punished, man. Yep.
So if you don't got this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you gonna line up and you gonna take that that uh, C hip, man. That's right. You know. That's right. Um, we also get that scripture. Uh, prudent. Uh, yeah, Proverbs chapter twenty two, verse three. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, how do you hide yourself? By coming back to the Lord. Scripture say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it in the same. That's why you got to know the name of the Lord, man. Right. That's you you have to know the name of the Lord because the Lord, hey, he's going, he's bringing his wrath, you know. And our, and our, the Lord has the prophets out to warn our people. Just how Jeremiah warned our people that if you don't repent, the Babylonians coming in. And they thought it was a joke until Nebuchadnezzar came in and took you over to Babylon, man. Yep. But this time, Esau gonna take your ass in the concentration camps. They gonna do you. They gonna do our people dirty because this is the time. Is the, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble? Man. Right. This gonna be worse than seventy A.D. Man. Right. That's why you know it's an embarrassment to see these pseudo Hebrew Israelites. All right, miss okay, uh, misuse the prophets, us. Yeah. All right, and then uh, mangle the scriptures. All right, and twist scriptures around. All right. That's why it makes sense why this this Jacob's trouble is going to be the most gr gruesome graphic, okay, ever recorded, man, yep. ever seen, man. Yep. Okay, and the Lord's going to make sure it happens, all right? It's going to be the worst horror movie ever. Yeah. For you Jakes that watch horror movies, you know, to get scared. Well, those horror movies you watch ain't going to touch when the Lord's about to allow, allow this devil to do it to you, man. Yeah. We're talking about some fucking, like you said, they're going to do dirty graphic shit. Yeah, yeah. All right? This whole, you know, I mean, we're, we could get, we get, we get give you examples, all right? You, all right, you Jakes that are into the hip hop shit and all that, you know. And now, now you're seeing uh, 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 Diddy and all that with the yeah. rapings and stuff. You don't think Esau is gonna do that to y'all in those yeah. crowd, concentration camps? Yeah, this dude is vile. All right, using oil to uh, <laughs> to uh, 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 break you down to have their have his way with you. Yeah. All right, poison you. Yeah. Okay. Cut you open. Did that shit in slavery. Yeah, man. The conquista the words. Right. Man, man, did you forget the slave master would rape the slave? Yeah. That's uh, coming butt, back. Butt breaking. Butt break. Come on, man. This that he ain't changed. Yeah. He just got worse. Yeah. Now. You know. Yeah. And, and that's why we fear the Lord, man. And that's why we we understand what's coming. That's why we we push this word because we want we don't want to have any part of that, man. All right. And that's why we're like, hey, if the Lord wants me to to die for this truth. It's going to be according to what the Lord said of yeah. being beheaded, beheaded, which is way better than getting fucking uh, uh, tortured, tortured and, and fucking raped by Esau Edom. Yeah. Okay. Starving to death. Yeah. Okay. So, and all types of matter of yeah, plagues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why it's a, uh, get that. Uh, to, the fear, yeah. We'll close out with that. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Man, you, hey, wake the hell up, man. Yeah, it's high time. Wake so. the hell up. Okay, the Lord ain't playing. Everything's get, get going according to prophecy. All right, the the Lord is not on your time. You're on His time. Remember that. I'm gonna start at uh, verse thirty. It's a like Hebrew chapter ten and verse thirty. It says, "For we know Him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto Me. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge His people. Mm -hmm. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power." There you go. Right. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right. Mm -hmm. This is why. All right. We we tell you, hey, we go into prophecies and tell you, look, this devil. Look what this devil's about to do. Well, that's according to the scriptures, and this is all set up by Yahweh Bashi Shai. That's the key, because the Lord controls both sides. Right. All right. That's why you got to turn to the Lord. Right. All right. So that the angels, all right, know, all right, not the ones that the Lord yeah. uh, uh, that set mark. that mark, that mark, mark of exemption. Yeah. You know, the angels are like. Nope, nope, nope. All right, this is the this is the servant of the Lord. Yeah. All right, get that wicked that ninja. ninja. Get that ninja over there. Yeah. All right, that's saying f the Lord and right. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. All right, and I'm I'm out here doing ditty shit. Yeah. Right. Okay. Or or you got wicked pseudo Hebrew Israelites blaspheming the prophet, saying that we're rapists yeah. and we're and we're uh uh we're, we're we're pedos. Saying the name of the Lord don't matter. Saying the name name of the Lord don't matter. Yeah. The Lord don't do miracles. Right. Okay. All. Uh, uh, all matters Bugged of doubt. BS, okay? And the name of the Lord does matter. It does matter. And, and we and, have the name. Yep, yeah, we sure do. Yeah, we're not lifting up prayers for you people either. The Lord told her don't make a prayer for y'all. So y'all screaming and talk about help, help. No, we're not going to be, we're not going to put up no prayers for you, man. Nope. We only pray for the elect. That's it. 
No. Right? Because well, what did the Lord say? I'm not hearing those prayers. You're not hearing your prayers. The Lord said that. Let's say He's gonna hear our prayers. Yeah. I mean, if we pray for them. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he's not, he's, yeah, he, he, your prayers. he told Jeremiah, <laughs> "Don't pray for these people because yeah, I'm not, not hearing not, this." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jeremiah. <laughs> Hey man, hey, do what y'all about you all shy? Right. We have the the the, yeah. the he blesses with the understanding of, of this truth and how to walk right. in this truth while we wait for him, because it's not about gimmicks, man. It's it's about being sincere and 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 handling this work carefully. Yeah. All right, and that's because we we understand what the Lord's capable of. So with that, we want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kodash. Double honor city apostles of Great Millstone who do well and taught us this truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. And citation to the Akim out there pushing this truth of sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and risking their life for Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai's sake. Love you, brothers. Keep endure, keep the faith, keep pushing, keep fighting, keep studying, pray with our season, pray for each other, right. pray for the apostles and elders. We're almost out of here. All right, stay prayed up. All right, stay focused. All right, uh, uh, remove that spirit of doubt, yeah. uncertainty. All right, we're, we're at the, we're literally, you could clearly see we're at the finish line. Right. So hold on tight, hold on to this truth. Let no man take your crown. That's right. And for the few that are watching, keep studying, all right? And when you pray, pray to your head cover, Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>